Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in and this is our review of the Coolpad Max smartphone. The Coolpad Max has a metal construction which feels very well executed and premium. Unlike earlier smartphones from Coolpad, this one has an industrial design with a familiar look. The Max has an iPhone 6-like look which is not a bad thing. While Coolpad has equipped the phone with narrower side bezels, the black borders around the display fails the purpose. That said, the Coolpad Max is one of the best looking phones in its category and offers a sturdy build quality. The Coolpad Max features a beautiful and crisp 5.5 inch LCD panel which boasts of a 1080p resolution. It offers great viewing angles, true to life color reproduction and a good touch response. The display also gets Gorilla Glass 4 coating. However, it isn't extremely bright when viewing the phone outdoors. Moreover, it is reflective and catches fingerprints easily. Moving to the UI, the phone does not feature an app drop but instead all the apps are on the home page. One of the key features of the Coolpad Max is the dual space feature. This is something similar to users on stock Android which was introduced back in Marshmallow. This allows a single device to be used by multiple users using their own set of apps and settings. It has two spaces out of the box, private and main space. The private space is encrypted and can't be accessed even on the PC. Although it is quite easy to access both the spaces when you are past the initial fingerprint scanner of the phone. Coming to the performance, the smartphone is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 617 SoC and can handle all tasks with ease. The 4GB RAM helps with multitasking and the gaming experience is not the best on this device. We don't mean it's outright poor, but considering the 25k price tag, we were hoping for more. In comparison, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 powered Xiaomi Mi 5 stands miles ahead in terms of performance. The audio quality is quite good on the phone and the two speakers at the bottom are quite loud. The sound cracking is barely noticeable. Coming to the camera, the 13 megapixel rear snapper on the Coolpad Max is decent at best and at an asking price of 24,999 rupees, Coolpad certainly could have done better. It uses the same Samsung ISO cell sensor which was last seen in the Xiaomi Redmi Note 2 Prime. Images taken by the camera have good color saturation, a little warm, just the way most people like it. However, there is too much noise to call it a flagship class. Low light image quality isn't great either and leaves much to be desired. With around 7 hours of screen on time, the battery on the Coolpad Max matches the industry standard. Like every other smartphone out there, gaming depletes the battery at an increased rate. With average use, the device can last the entire day. Overall, the Coolpad Max is a good attempt at a sub-30k smartphone, but it fails to wow us. I mean, the design and build of the smartphone is really, really good. But when it comes to the performance and camera, there are better phones available in the market at that price range. You are better off looking at, let's say, the Xiaomi Mi 5 or the Honor 7 or some of the other sub-30k phones that we have reviewed in the recent past before making your purchase decision. It's really difficult to recommend the cool Pad Max, especially considering the options available. So there you have it. That was our review of this smartphone. You can always let us know what you thought of the review in the comment section below. If you like it, hit the like button. And for more videos like this one, subscribe to the Digit YouTube channel. We'll catch you in another video.